If you want to put a comment in your SQL, you just put double dashes in front of the line. Anything after a double dash on any line is a comment. And you can make some notes. This is what I'm trying to do. And it's not going to run in the SQL. It's not going to error. But that note will always be there for anybody looking at that SQL. If you wanted to write a lot of stuff in your SQL at any place, notice here I've got slash asterisk, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. And then when I put the asterisk slash, that will end the comment. I can also put double dashes on every line that I want to comment, and those will all be comments as well. This first query, it erred. I can't believe it. Can you figure out the mistake? Notice it's got an alias as some. That's a reserved word. It doesn't have any double quotes around it. But I might have had some problems figuring out where the error was. So notice this clever little trick I've done on the right. I commented out with two dashes that exact line in the SQL, and then it ran. So I go, oh, the problem is right there. So that's another reason why I like my commas in the front of my columns in the select list, so that when I put those double dashes in, that line is commented out and there are no errors. This is a great debugging technique. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.